Hey again, everybody. I'm Smart Ed. Today we visit Apollo Ridge Elementary School in Spring Church, Pennsylvania, to find out how they're using their tap it. We're going to show them what a good job you can do. Meet Jacob. He's in second grade and attends the Apollo Ridge Elementary School Life Skills Program. Very intelligent, very bright kid, but due to his disability and the physical limitations, couldn't access a lot of the activities and programs that were being offered. Being that our boards were mounted, he was never able to get to them because of the ledge and the tray. Um, Once we got the tappet, um, being that he's such a visual learner, it just kind of brought everything to life. That is a big difference for Jacob and Mr. Eisenberg from the way things were before the school purchased five tappet units. We would try anything we could so that he could reach. But again, because he wasn't able to get the true feel, wasn't able to use his hands like everyone else, really lost interest. Okay, so what's our whole word? Mailbox. Nice job. If we try anything at the table, his head automatically turns around to look for the tappet. He's used to that interactivity and being right in front of the screen. So we're working real hard right now to try to get him to do these things at the table. But again, because of the disability and his ability, we want to work to his strengths. But when it does get to that interactive portion, it... The tappet is the focus of the instruction. Jacob has cerebral palsy, so in addition to classroom work, he receives physical therapy at the school. While he's working on the words like we saw today, he's also getting some physical therapy because of what he's because he's able to sit on the therapy ball? Yeah, absolutely. And our physical therapist, she just could not believe what a great tool this would be for kids with fine and gross motor issues. Um, and she has done her best to help the teachers to incorporate this into the kids' daily routine so we can work on those PT goals without actually having to delegate time to just do PT. This way we can get our academics done, throw some OT, PT stuff in, and call it a day. Being able to use a variety of items to interact with the tappet adds to its accessibility for students like Jacob. Without the tennis ball or without a pointer, um, he pushes so hard on the board that his finger just skids across. And it doesn't matter what kind of board we're using. Um, when he pushes, it skids across, and he's more concerned about not being able to move things as opposed to what we really should be worrying about, and that's that's the lesson at hand. Mr. Eisenberg says the combination of options the tappet allows for him and his students is very beneficial. Being able to bring in a tennis ball or a pointer or bring in a therapy ball and a mat and just add that to the instruction, I mean, we're, we're killing two birds with one stone, and that's, that's accommodating. It's very convenient. From Spring Church, Pennsylvania, I'm Smart Ed, and we'll see you again soon here on Smart Ed TV.